cannabis is not only for smoking, but it can be helpful for your back pain. Is that a truth or a myth? In this video, we will explain about the CBD and the cannabis and if that can be helpful for your back pain. This is the Neurosurgeons channel and this is the only place where you find two neurosurgeons talking to you about everything about the brain and spine. 9 out of 10 people will experience back pain at some point in their lifetimes. This can be very, very severe. So anyone who's experienced it will know that you can be laid up in bed, even unable to move your arms or legs because the pain in your back is so bad. And that's not to mention the severe sciatic pain which can run down both legs and add to your misery. When people are in this condition, they often try anti-inflammatory drugs, nerve pain drugs, or even acupuncture or massage. For people where this doesn't work, they can sometimes turn to other options such as cannabis oil. So what's cannabis? The term about the cannabis and medical marijuana can be very confusing. So just to make it simple, we have the cannabis sativa, which is the plant which makes the marijuana and the hemp. The hemp is any product or any strain of the uh, cannabis which has a concentration of less than 0.3% of THC. THC refers to the tetrahydrocannabidol, which is basically the product which makes the high effect of the marijuana. The marijuana is any plant which will have a higher percentage of the THC, more than 0.3%. Then it comes to the CBD, and CBD stands for cannabidiol. And basically, it's a non-toxic part of the cannabis, and it doesn't give the high effect as to in comparison to marijuana. As you know, historically, if you hear about cannabis, you think about getting high and the psychoactive effects of the drug. However, in animal models, there's been some promising results in treating pain. However, based upon the fact that we still don't really know how effective cannabis oil is, there's huge interest in industry and there are a lot of magical and wild claims as to how effective it may be. It could improve your diabetes, cure your cancer, cure your pain, or even help with your dog's anxiety. Everyone is trying to catch the huge and massive growth on the CBD market. Let's see how that looks like in the American market, for example. United States CBD market value was about $4 billion in 2019, and that's expected to grow to $25 billion in 2025. The CBD market will see uh, an annual growth rate of about 49% by the year 2024. And if we see on average, about 40% of people would spend about $20 to $80 a month on CBD related products and about 13% would spend more than $160 a month. So can we trust all the products on the market? Well, a research team had a look at various CBD oils and measured how much CBD was actually in the product, comparing it to what it said on the label. And there were some interesting results. 84 products from 31 different companies were analyzed and surprisingly, 42% of them actually had less CBD in them than they were advertising. 26% of the products that they looked at actually had more than they were advertising. And only 30% of all the samples that they looked at had on roughly within 10% what they were supposed to contain in terms of CBD oil. So how the CBD actually works? Our body has an endocannabinoid system which has receptors which are found in abundance in the central nervous system, in the brain and the spinal cord and in the peripheral nerves. Those receptors are found in types number one and number two. The endocannabinoid system works in controlling the emotion, the cognition, and also involved in the inflammation and the pain control. Any CBD products would act on these receptors by modulating the effect and the action of these receptors, and this is how it actually controls the pain in our body. Overall, more evidence is required to say if CBD or hemp is an effective treatment for chronic back or any sort of pain. There is some evidence to say that CBD oil can help with pain, but none of this is high quality research. The NHS currently don't give prescriptions for cannabis oil for the treatment of back or leg pain. However, there are some prescriptions that you may have heard about in the news to help with people with epilepsy or chronic pain from cancer. CBD might, might sound very useful for controlling the pain, but it doesn't come without side effects. There are a lot of side effects that can happen with using CBD, including dizziness, hallucination, reduced appetite, and also we don't know if it causes a lot of interaction with other drugs if a patient is using other drugs for other medical conditions. And also we don't have enough information to tell about the safety of these drugs or the CBD in the kids or pregnant or lactating woman. So to summarize, CBD oil has a lot of promising research to date 
which I mean, it may be effective for chronic back or even neck pain. However, a lot more robust evidence needs to be gathered before any sort of prescriptions could be made for CBD on the NHS. As a warning, don't use CBD oil without speaking to your doctor or medical specialist. And also double check the legality of buying or importing CBD oil into your country. We'd be really interested to hear any comments below from people who have used CBD oil for their back pain and tell us a bit about your experience because we love to learn from our audience. So that's everything we know about CBD oil to date. Stay tuned for the next video from the neurosurgeons.